Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hello everyone. Hi and today we are at Chuck E. Cheese and I'll let you take this one because this was your place. This was my childhood Chuck E. Cheese. Um, it closed because of the COVID pandemic and it was a really fun place for me. I liked it a lot. I'm really sad that it closed but That's, a lot of places are going. Yeah it doesn't help as a result of the virus. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese had to file for bankruptcy and close several locations around the United States and sadly this was one of them. So, but we're here to check it out and give you a video and keep the memory of this place alive. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there you go. There's your Chuck E. Cheese here. If I put it in the wide angle lens, whoop, <laughs> that's a little bit further. <laughs> I will mention to you guys that in the immediate area, there are two Chuck E. Cheeses. There was this one, and then there's one that is still currently open. And this one was always smaller, mm -hmm. but that's what a lot of people liked about this one, especially my family. They liked that this one wasn't crowded. It was, you know... A little more intimate, basically. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go up there and check it out. Alright, just walking up to this place. Looks like it's been closed longer than that. That's creepy. Yeah. It just looks... Oh, look at this. Chucky's all you can play. Card just left out here. That's sad. <laughs> see what we see, if anything. Wow, it's destroyed in there. Holy cow. It's really beat up. Like the wall's all ripped out, the counter's turned over. I don't know. They really ripped this place apart, though. Dippin' Dots. There's a better look back there. Let's see what we see over here. Ah, oh, they got the blinds down over here. But if we go over to this window, you can see inside of here pretty well. Yeah, wow, they turned this place upside down. There's McDonald's cups, Subway cups. I see a pack of cigarettes. Oh, you see a ball. Oh, man. Ski ball. Man. I love ski ball. <laughs> Me too. Wow, they I really turned it upside down. I probably played on those machines like 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. I wonder why they turned it all upside down like this unless... Unless a squatter's inside, or someone broke in here, I don't know. What a mess, though. Wow. Alright, well, I don't even know where she went. She's gone. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go find Kayla. <laughs> She's probably walking around the side here. <laughs> Is she? Oh, yeah, she's back there. <laughs> Take a little walk back here. We got about halfway to the back on the one side. You can see piece of the side came off. Piece of the side and came off. Can't talk. And they boarded this door off. I guess the door opens this way and it doesn't lock. Or somebody broke in there. But I love how they taped it off, too. And they put the little Chuck E. Cheese cards on the tape. <laughs> And they meant business. They really bolted that in good. So, there's no getting in there. As we work our way around the other side, you see they boarded up these doors pretty good. <laughs> wow, yeah. I guess none of the doors lock, but they boarded them up. <laughs> Wow, look at the garbage area. Yeah, we were walking from that side. 
then I had to run back to the car. <laughs> so we get, went back around the front, so we figured we might as well come the other way. <laughs> oh, look, there's a, is that a academy shopping cart? A pet bed, lots of trash and wine bottles. <laughs> Yuck. A lot of siding from in, Does look. trashed in the Chuck E. Cheese parking lot? <laughs> kind of have to be to go inside that place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I didn't expect that door to be unlocked. It's eerily silent. We literally just walk right through the front door. <laughs> How sad. And clearly, people were here and vandalized. We don't condone any of that. Never. Look, they were open during the virus. <laughs> Keep in mind, and I say this every time, we're here with the utmost respect. We're just here to save the memory of this place before it's erased. As you can see, it's in pretty bad shape already. People have been in here. Looks like people were just partying and destroying the place. We're here simply to take pictures and video and leave. No vandalism, nothing. Don't take anything, don't leave anything except uh, footprints. Astro invasion. There's tokens all over the floor. There was, I guess, their stage. That was their stage. Hmm. Gosh, it's so sad. So sad. See this place in this condition. Yeah, we tend to go to this one more than we go to the um, one in Poland. See people breaking into the machines. Like they're going to find everything. <laughs> I know. I guess these were restrooms and changing rooms, maybe. Party rooms, I guess. Now oh, this looks like an office. Paint everywhere. Man. Yeah, bathrooms. Hmm. Upgrade your prize. They got stickers. <laughs> they have some vintage machines in here. Another cotton candy. Oh, like like little gift bags for if you have parties. <laughs> <laughs> they have a few. That's such a shame. So this clearly hasn't even been closed all that long, and the place is trashed. Ticket muncher. <laughs> wow. It's a shame what vandals have done to this place, too. Like I said, guys, we didn't we didn't force our way in nothing. The front door was just open. And upon us exiting, we are going to lock it. Yeah. 
There's the kitchen. Mail cartons. Nothing really in here. That goes around to where we came in the other way. What a lot of destruction in here, though. Looks like vandals were really trying to get to this place. What a shame. It's so silent. Look at the counter just flipped over. Beer cans in here. You could tell people were having a good time in here, which is an awful, awful shame. Because for people like us that just want to admire a place and just save the memory of a place, people that do what they do with vandalism and breaking everything only gives us a bad rap. Looks like shirts, I guess. Is this a photo? 4,000 tickets. <laughs> yeah, I guess they had shirts on that shelf. Employee shirts. Yeah. Okay. 6,000 tickets. <laughs> yeah, so... As we don't want to see anything happen to this place from vandals upon exiting... I have figured out how to lock the front door, and that's what I'm going to do. So when we leave, I will have made sure the front door is locked so nobody else can just come in here and cause any damage or destruction. As for us, it's just its kind of bittersweet to have Kaylee have this chance to see her childhood Chuck E. Cheese one last time. But that'll do from here. Okay, everyone. Well, we didn't anticipate that happening. Mm -mm. We figured we would just do a quick walk around the outside, and then what Kayla noticed, the front door was unlatched and just opened right up. And I, I know I sound like a broken record, but again, this was just out of admiration for this place. We just came here, we just came here to admire this place. And I mean, for you, it was a walk down memory lane. Yeah, I haven't been here since 2004, so... At least I got to see it with you this time, even though it's in a lot worse shape than it used to be in, and that's terrible. Mm -hmm. So Please don't demolish places, you guys. Please don't vandalize. Yeah, if anything, we'd like to see this place get repurposed into a new business so life is brought back here. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a different type of business, it helps create jobs and whatnot. And, you know, the purpose of this, too, it was not only to walk down memory lane for you, but for others that may have had parties here when they were kids. Mm -hmm. Birthday parties, yeah. whatnot. Please tell me if you guys have ever had any fun experiences here. I want to hear about it. Yeah, I mean, like, kids have parties here. Parents have headaches, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> Come here to have fun, and that's what it was all about. And during these times, we could all use a little bit more fun. So. I agree. But anyway, that's all that was about, was to just check this place out, admire it before it's gone, because obviously Chuck E. Cheese here is no more. Uh, as a company, they're struggling but as for this location, it's no more, and 
if this place gets demolished or repurposed, at least we have the memory of this place through the video to kind of see it on the inside, even though it was in pretty rough shape. So anyway, we're taking off everybody. Uh, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed the video and understand our perspective here. And with that said, we'll talk to you later. So take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Have a Kmartlicious day. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.